a father. Be a father. Be a father. Street shot. Hey, what's going on, man? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Conversations with Dad. Welcome to the wonderful world of just me and my boys. I'm your host, Gene in the building, all right? Thank you for giving me another opportunity to entertain you with my content. Yes, man, we got another exciting episode. And um, stick around to the end. You know, we got some good things going on in this episode. And make sure you watch the whole thing, all right? But before we get into this episode, make sure you know the routine. You hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. And turn that bell, that notification, that bell. Turn that on so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out, all right? And if um, you like the video, just hit the like button. It's okay. It's okay to hit the like button, all right? You let me know that you like the video and everybody else who's watching which you let you know that you liked it, all right? Yeah, man. So conversation with dad, man. And for those of you who don't know conversation with dad, I'm going to explain this at the beginning of every episode. It's just me getting some content off the internet, social media that we can have a discussion about that can impact us as being, you know, fathers and men in society or anybody else who want to join the conversation it's just going to be an impactful video that i feel can serve us in a good way all right that's what conversation with dad is all about so as you can tell by the title of the video yes step parent drama listen i'm all too familiar with this subject matter you know being that that i'm married now in my second marriage and I have an ex-wife who I had children with, that, that the divorce was ugly. You already know, you already know it was some nonsense and craziness that was going on. So, you know, thankful for me that, you know, I got a real mature wife that didn't want to engage none of that. But, you know, in this video, um, we was kind of in this same uh, situation at one point. We was kind of in the same situation. But of course, my, 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 my wife handled it totally different. So let's watch this video and see what I'm talking about, all right? To give some context to the video, the now wife is upset at the husband because he's purchasing some shoes for his son that he had with the ex-wife. So this has caused the whole little melee. This is something I found in that. And to give some disclosure, I don't know these people. It's just a video that I found. And let's just look at it, and you know we're gonna have a discussion about it. It's like I gotta choose between my child and my marriage, and it's getting old. It getting very old and frustrating. Between your child and your marriage, what are you doing? I mean, like, what's going on? I'm recording, if the, no, man. No, 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 I ain't recording because you ain't dropping. I don't give a damn about no Facebook, no YouTube, or nothing. Don't be in here. It won't be in here. Believe that, baby. Come on, man. Come on, man. If you ain't in a situation, you want me to get some shoes? Come on, man. 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 Come on,
Listen, man, this, you know, a, as a man, this is, this is a hard situation to be in, man. This is a hard situation to be in, man. And, um, I've been in, I've been in moments of situations like this where, you know, where my wife didn't agree with something that, you know, that my ex-wife did or wanted from me and this and that. And, you know, I just had to make a decision, you know what I'm saying? But listen man listen when you decide to get with somebody else after you had children with this other person it got to be an evaluation process you got to make sure they're mature enough to handle the situation that you have an ex-wife or ex or partner and y'all have a child together not anybody can handle that. Not anybody can deal with that. And just listening to them go back and forth, he's already on child support. So there's already that's already a strain in a house. And listen, man, I get his wife's argument. I get it 100%. I get it. I get how she's feeling. I, I just have a problem with how she was saying it and the things she was saying because... At the end of the day, um, you have to understand, no matter how far we go with each other, those are still my kids. You know what I'm saying? Reckon, if I'm giving child support, yeah, the right thing's supposed to be done to make, sh to make sure the child is provided for, because that's why I'm giving the money. But at the end of the day, so based on her logic, like I can't do nothing else outside of that $500. And that's not how it should be. You know, I should, if I want to do something extra for my kids, I can do it. But, you know, I get her argument, though. The $500 is already a strain. It's already a strain, and we're doing the best we could. So, you doing something extra, and now you're going against what I'm saying. You know, you're disregarding how my feelings. So, I feel like he should have handled it different, too. I think he should have approached her about it. And had a conversation with her about it. And they come to a mutual, you know, agreement or understanding about how he should proceed forward. Which is something that I always did with uh, with my relationship. Because, you know, when things come up and I feel like it's going to affect my home. Definitely when it comes to dealing with my ex-wife and, and my children. I always discuss it with my wife first. I get her opinion. Because I never, you never want. Your partner to feel left out. That is the worst feeling you can give them. And to be honest with you, my wife had a conversation with me about that because something happened and she wasn't included. And I just made a decision and it ended up backfiring in my face because I made a decision without even discussing nothing with her. And <laughs> my ex wife just, you know, just ran all over me. You know, because in a way, um, she's protecting him. In a way, my wife is protecting me. Because she understands the situation that I'm in with my ex, the ties that I got, and how, you know, they can take advantage. So, you know, that's where she's coming from with it. But I just think the message was just, it was out of whack. Definitely when she said F the kids, that's when now you got to reevaluate who you with. If someone can say that, 
I don't care how angry you are. They always feel that way. I don't care how angry you are. Just certain things that shouldn't come out your mouth. Definitely with the people who have nothing to do with. Like, the kids ain't got nothing to do with that. So why is, F the kids, they ain't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Your anger should be with the ex-wife because, you know, apparently she's not managing the money, right? That you're giving monthly. So, but F the kids. <laughs> Like, like Mike F said, F the kids, F the kids, you know what I'm saying? And just when you come, when, when you get in a situation where, you know, step parents and, and other people involved when it comes to raising your kids, um, you have to, you have to really evaluate that person and make sure one, they can handle it. They can handle it because it's tough to watch your partner still interact with the other parent with the kids. Like, like that's tough. You got to be mature to deal with that. And luckily for me, like I made my wife secure enough to where she she don't have to worry about nothing because this is the stigma where, you know, you're going to always want your baby mama, you're going to always want your baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? And that made her secure to where she really ain't got to get involved with everything. Because she understand where I'm at. She understand my commitment to our relationship. So she wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? She wouldn't really um, get at me in that sense. Unless I did something totally out of, out of whack or something totally out of character. So it's important for you to understand what you got going on inside your home. When it comes to raising kids who, you know, the, the step parents. And with the other, the other parent, the ex-parent. Now, just judging by how they're talking, all of this is dysfunctional. And when you have a dysfunction, dysfunctional co-parent relationship, and just a dysfunctional relationship between, like, every, the dynamics of everybody involved, you're going to have issues where things are going to boil over. You know what I'm saying? And then it, it got to the point where, you know, she said, if you get him some shoes... I'm kicking you out. Damn. Damn. But I get the message she was trying to send. You know, she's really saying, you're just disregarding everything that I'm saying and my feelings on the situation. So I feel like you should leave. You know what I'm saying? And communication is everything in a situation like this. This is what I had to learn with dealing with my wife, my now wife, and my kid's mother. I had to learn that communication is key. So, like, in order for it not to get like that, it's important for you to include your partner, your now partner with everything. Include them in everything. Don't try to do no backhand stuff. And even if you do something, um, after you do it, make sure, you know, you tell them that you did this. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if your decisions to do whatever you're going to do with that parent or that child gonna affect your home in any way it's important you gotta let you gotta let the, the your now partner know it's important that you do that to keep them in the loop to keep them included because the minute they start feeling like you know they're not included and you know um they're not part of what you got going on that's when you get things like this you get blow-ups and you get misunderstandings and and then you just get Things that, that are blown out of proportion. The fathers, man, for your sanity, for, for the sake of your sanity, you got to talk more when it comes to this. You know, you got to talk more. You got to make sure your, your now partner is secure to know that, you know, they don't have to worry about anything when it comes to you interacting or, or, or just being around the other parent. And, and man, if you come into this, into this situation and she has kids with somebody else with another man then it's the same thing but reversed you know what i'm saying you always want to be involved because you have to understand when you get in a relationship with someone they got kids the kids of it is an extension of them definitely if they love their kids you should love them and their kids because that's you should love who they love you know that's part of being connected as a couple and i think that's what uh that's why me and my wife is so connected when it comes to raising my kids because she understood the love that I have for my kids. So 
it's only right that she loved my kids as well. I intensely look for a woman that I know would be beneficial to me and my children. You know what I'm saying? Not in a sense of uh, providing, of course, because I felt like I was going to do that all, at all times. Just, you know, um, loving, caring, and nurturing. And, and just having an understanding. If they couldn't show me that, then, then you know, they just, I, I could not, you know, move forward with them because these kids are not going nowhere. And yeah, those not your kids, but still, like, you with me. And she said something that's key, you know what I'm saying? But again, she said it all wrong. She said, why can't the husband get the shoes? And, uh, and, uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, my man said, that's not his responsibility, which is true. But again, all this can be over with communication. We can have all that weaved out with communication. You know what I'm saying? The mature conversation can be had about, you know, the means of getting him the shoes, why I gotta get him some shoes, and you know, can we go half and half something? You know, but when it just, something is just said, you made a decision without telling, this was gonna happen because I guarantee that's what happened. He already told her that he buying the shoes. Instead of, I know it sounds crazy that, you know, you got an actual lady to buy your child some shoes. But no, nah, you're not asking her. You're having a conversation with her about it. And you're getting her feelings about the situation. Because, listen, you already dishing out $500. So, <laughs> and as a woman, she understands the tricks that women play. So she like, listen, you give it out $500. And she got a man in the house. Why is you doing anything extra? So what you're doing is way too much. So I get her argument. And I want to get that understood. I get her argument. But I just think, you know, the way the message was conveyed was just totally, totally crazy. And which caused just a lot of hurtful things to be said. Because I tell you now, man, like, you know, I love my wife to death. Love my wife to death, and she understand that. Everybody around me knows that, you know. But if you say "f my kids," I'm sorry, man. That's the end. You saying "f me too," you know what I'm saying? Like I get you upset. Like I say, man, you say things, but it's just certain things that shouldn't be said when you get upset. Something like that is one of them. You know what I'm saying? Because the kids ain't got nothing to do with it. What they? They didn't, they, ain't, they ain't do nothing. <laughs> so, man, yeah, this this clip is crazy, man. I know a lot of people I know going through this, man. And if you went through something like this, man, put your story down in the comments box below, man. And uh, what you think about <laughs> the whole the whole video? You know, who's right? Who you feel is right? Who you feel is wrong? And, and how you feel like they should have handled it? Because um, this went way... She started packing his bags. This went way left, way left. So, you know, in my opinion, like I say, had they communicated within, with, with each other properly and better, I don't think it would have came down to this, but obviously it did. You know what I'm saying? So, so we reached the end of the video. Thank you for reaching. Thank you for getting to this part of the video, the end. And if you haven't done so by now, I don't know why not. If you watched the whole video, subscribe and turn notifications on so you can get the videos as soon as they come out. And listen, man, if you watched the video this long, you should hit the like button. Because there's no way you made it through this video and you ain't like the video. Or if it was any good to you any kind of way, hit that like button, all right? So yeah, man, Conversation with Dad, another episode in the book. Like I told y'all. I'm coming with the heat. I'm coming with the content, man. Y'all just stay tuned and just get ready to receive them, all right? It's your boy, Gene. Until next time, conversation with Dad. One love, y'all.